Kim Hyung-kyung. Hyung kim from the Republic of Korea, 17 years old, second junior Grand Prix season, second after the short program. He needs a 137.48 to take the lead. His top score is 137.79, earned that at the Junior World Championship, so he absolutely can do it. But he'll need to lay it down right now as he skates to Requiem for a dream. Well, the men are really bringing it dead in this final group. Yeah. Fantastic skate from Hyun Young Kim. No, yeah, it's amazing. Beck Sommer just laid it down. Then he says, no, 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 just don't. <laughs> don't you know, this competition's not over. I've got to skate here and watch me. That was awesome. The challenge was, was met. It, uh, Absolutely. It's so interesting to see you know, such different approaches from two men, uh, both brilliant in different ways. Oh, yeah, for sure. And this is a very technical program with lots of difficulty and some good skating as well, some nice moves. But, wow, it's going to be very interesting. He needs a one, uh, let's see, he needs a 137.48 to take the lead. And I think with that technical content, I think he's going to be able to do that. 
Here's the quad toe. Nine and nearly 10 points just with that quad toe. Yeah. Here's the triple axle. Gets up into the double total. Got a lot of flow in the landings here, but he's still getting the points for the difficult elements. And he had some nice sliding moves. We'll see that a little bit later in the program. Another triple axle has to over rotate it, but keeps the free foot off the ice. Triple lutz later in the program. Good flow. He was on a mission. He knew he had to skate yeah. clean. There's that slide right there. So cool. Near the end. And it, he's not, I mean, obviously the technical content was brilliant. and. He packed in that triple axle, the triple loop with the double axle, and the loops in the second half, so extra boost. But he's not just a technical skater. There's still an athlete with good skating skills as he clasps his hands in hope. Yeah, and how interesting is this? I mean, Adam Hagaru is in first place and, you know, hoping to be able to keep that title for Slovakia as just witnessed, whether he knows it or not, two phenomenal skates. Mm -hmm. But he has the weaponry, he has the elements to do it. We'll see. Wow. That's exciting stuff, eh? Really exciting. And a real testament to coach and skater in the Kissing Cry now because didn't do Junior Grand Prix last year. A couple of years ago in eighth and ninth place. And that a, a demonstration of the improvements made over the last two seasons for Hugh Yomkin. And he's sitting there strangling the bears and the lions and all the stuff he has, all the stuff he's, he's got waiting for, <laughs> waiting for his scores, or anxiously waiting for his scores. But the job, he's done the job. Now it's up to the judges, but wow. Really good competition. I really congratulate the men all in all the groups. Many of them brought their best here. Some passionate performances, some good technical performances. In the past, he'd been a little inconsistent, in some cases a lot inconsistent, but so far this season, we've seen more consistency, which is really a great pleasure to see. Interesting, the tech panel now, their assessment of the reviews and the rotation calls is making it perilously close. Yes. Needs that 13748, but it started at oh, way over 140, and now it's, it's dropping as the quarter rotation shorts are happening. And yeah. It's going to be tight. It's very, going to be very tight. Here it is. Free program score, 138.31. That's second in the free program. But hang on. Total competition score is 211.76 as he takes the lead. <laughs> Barely, but he takes the lead with one skater to come. He's on the podium. He has at least the silver. 